There's a lot of people out there that are entitled. There's a lot of people out there that work at companies and they say, in two years, I'm going to make this amount of money. And if I can't make this money, then I'm gone because that company is not for me. And, and they look at the company and they fail to look at themselves. You know, one thing, companies, they're there to make money. And therefore, you've heard me talk about being a pillar. Like, your job is to come in and be a pillar underneath the foundation of that company and help that company make money. If you're helping that company make money, then you deserve money. And the more people that you can help along the way, the more influence that you have on that floor, the money goes higher. Like, like if you're running one CNC machine, and, and there's an hourly rate for that CNC machine. There is a limit to how much money you can actually make. But if you can run two, if you can influence three, if you can influence the workers on four, five, six machines and more, then the value and your worth keeps going up. Right now, that's speaking to money and making a company money. But I'm going to talk to you now about a principle that many don't talk about, that is probably one of the most important principles in any company, that if you own this principle, like if you own this, then you're going to be incredibly successful. And, and, and this is so important to me. Over the years, I've had people like some of my employees, they, they listen to the videos, they, they hear me talk about machines and alignment and all the tables in the front and the inspection trays. Every single table has a tray and it's inspection equipment and all equipment is taken care of immaculately. They hear me talk about the job routers and how I sell the company to the customers and, and how I take them on this crazy journey through a shop of excellence a shop of greatness and how I do all these different things. And they know that I'm about precision machining. Precision machining for me is not just delivering a part that meets spec to a customer that is like tightly tolerance. That's not precision. To me, it is a way of life. Like as soon as I walk a customer through and they see oil paintings and they see the parts that we've made, they see the walls and they see just how we are so different than anybody else. They instantly see creativity. They instantly understand that they're, they're, in, they're on a floor that is different than anything that they've ever seen before. And when they look at the parts and they see the flawless parts and the parts are beautiful and beyond like the con they're so complicated, it's beyond what the, the work that they're actually about to give us. Then that gives them confidence. Then when they walk out on the floor and they see the machines clean and the tables dialed and they see everything so immaculate and everything is about precision and all of it, they're like, you know what? If this company actually takes care of everything the way that they do, then they're going to take care of our parts. It's in their nature. Everything is precision. Now, here's the principle. Care about what I care about. Like, I'm not just talking on camera. I'm not just talking, but in, in the meetings and, and when, when we have conversations and I, t and I talk about taking vices apart and, and making sure that we lubricate them and making sure that they have no chips and making sure that when you take the vices off the table that we like stone them and clean them and make sure that everything is like running absolutely perfect and that we put them away in a perfect way and everything is dialed perfectly. The vices are perfectly parallel, not like one up there and down down here just make it the way you do things to make everything good like a lot of people look at the parts you're making hundreds of parts like don't make it where like 50 you know 50 percent of them are facing one way and 50 are facing a different way put them all like warriors going to war like they're all perfectly in alignment like care about that you know when people come and they ask me for more money which rarely happens because I take crazy good care of my employees. But, but when people come and they ask, there's, there's a principle that I look at. And it is, it is exactly that. Care about what I care about. I care about excellence. I care about the machines being taken care of. I care about the tools being taken care of. I care about, about all of my employees being taken care of. I care about people 
Like I want to see employees come in and actually influence in a positive way and influence productivity and influence greatness. You know what I mean? Like, and when I see an employee that comes in and they clean the vices and they take care of all of the different things and they do everything and I see them like, they, they might like, I might just walk out and they're, and they're like kind of showing off. They're, they're making like a little noise real quick, right? Because, oh, Titan walks out and then they just sit over there and they look right down the line and just like, oh, uh, like check that out. Oh, tables are in alignment. Like that's fine. Maybe they're doing that just because I'm there and they are. But I love that stuff. I love it. You know what I mean? And because then I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Like, boom, let me see this router. Oh, let me see those notes. Oh, let me see that program. Oh, let me see like the precision in everything that you do. Like from from where the way you dress, the, the boots you got on, the shirt that you, I mean, the shirts are, yeah, come on. Shirts are badass, right? You know, but, but everything needs to be about precision. And, and like my wife and I, we actually took and risked everything and went out and and went after making this company. Like I slept in that shop 24 seven and changed out all those parts. And I sold the company to all these customers and sold them and sold them and sold them and, and walked up these levels. Like, like we had the weight in 2000 eight and 2009 and and the collapse and 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 went through all of these different things right and and when i come in and i look at employees like i have this crazy weight on my shoulder and and the importance of all that we do and 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 the remembrance of all that we've been through to get to this point so if one person comes in and they're entitled and they do their job a certain way, but they don't take into practice what is important to me. And they're sloppy and they don't clean and they're out the door at the moment it turns five o'clock. Then that's cool. That's what you want to do. That's cool. But your time's going to be limited unless you change your ways. But somebody else who actually like has that thing and they're like, you know, Titan loves the vices to be clean like this. And Titan loves the precision of this. And, and he said that this is how we're supposed to make our programs. And this is how we store them. And this is, and we do it now instead of later. And, and we keep everything in the shop precise and clean. And it's a way that we do our productivity. Like this is all important to him. So it's going to become, become important to me. And therefore, after a uh, period of time I just love to have the shop looking like this and I love that attitude it's fun and you get after it in a shop like that that's the principle right there you want to make money in my shop then care about what's important to me Take care of the tooling, take care of the vices, take care of the work holding, take care of the programs and, and do it when I'm not looking and do it when I am looking. When I find somebody like that and then I find people that have great influence on others and help productivity, then I, like many other shop owners, I'm going to look for every example and every time that I can actually give you a bump, that I can like give you more money because I want you to taste success and I want you to grow in my company. And I, and I love the fact that you're coming in and you're all about excellence and you're helping us to make money. You're sharing the vision. You're part of the family. And there is almost nothing that I wouldn't do for you because I'm not about losing my family and I'm not about losing great employees that have been with me and who just, I'm just not about it. But on the other hand, if you're not going to own it, then you probably will do good at somebody else's shop, but not mine. And don't be entitled because I'm not just going to give it to you. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. And you got to like come in and you got to make things that are important to me. What's important to me now? My community, our community.
130,000 students online. That's important. You know, people in the Facebook group, like people on YouTube in the comments and all these different people, like everybody has a life. Everybody has a story. Everybody has like this amazing journey that they're on and they're important to me and they're important to my team. Whether you're an editor or a machinist, I just pray that all of them come and, and just understand that importance and read. They read the stories and they put the extra time in, even away from work, to like listen to the stories and understand that we're about something greater than ourselves. That we're about helping other companies and other individuals rise to greatness. And, and I want all of my employees to care about what I care about. I care about our community and I care about seeing that community rise. And if you work for me and you don't share that same love and passion for our community, then you will not last long in our company. And those of you that work for other companies, it's the same thing. Care about what those companies are about, what their values are, and put the work in to help make them money and influence their workers and their floors in a positive way so they can make money and you will deserve money. Oh, I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys. I love this trade. Boom.